Okay. This is some, something I wrote. Uh, I don't know, why am I doing these stupid introductions? Uh, this here is called. Uh, so this is already the beginning, the intro, so to speak, of a piece I wrote called "Some Local Burgers I've Recently Ate." And at the top of the page is one of these epigraphs or whatever you call it, one of these indent quotes. Geography cracks me up. George Bernard Shaw. Me too. In, P in Pittsburgh, for instance, they're called Tobos, often with an E. That's T-O-B-O-E-S. Residents of Hartford, on the other hand, know them as Sarsaps, possibly short for Sarsaparilla, Sasparilli, that New England sody fountain treat. And what's a fountain without a grill? You want one in Houston, meanwhile, a town with a hefty Croatian-American populace, you'll, you'll call for a Zagreb and like it. In Akron, Ohioans sure are strange. They're fondly dubbed Wee Wallies. Can you imagine ordering chili cheese Wee Wally? I can't. Stranger still is Portland, home of the bun stuffer, where beef is but one kind of stuffing. And popular combinations include double beef, mixed beef and tuna, a triple, the bun stuffer deluxe, beef, herring, and sweet pea. At the outskirts of Denver reads a sign which says, welcome, try our famous ground bat blow sandwich, a treat. Asbury Park hosts the cat jack. These are all generic terms, by the way, hence the expression cruising for cat jacks. Continuing the animal theme, we come to New York, New York, the fabled Big Apple, where they're known, quaintly enough, as hot dogs. Not to be outdone is Louise's health capital of the world, Racine, Wisconsin, where they're colorfully referred to as murdered mammal patties. In Boise, they're falfadallies, mussel shoals, corn on the cob. When in Cedar Rapids, uh, make that East Cedar Rapids, ask for a bordello. While yonder in West Cedar Rapids, be sure to smack down some fairy cakes a go go. And so on and on till we reach the safe, sunny harbor of our sacred shore, Los Angeles, LA, home of the one and only Hamburger. So named for our fair sister township, I think I wrote this during the 84 Olympics. So named for our fair sister township, Hamburg, Germany, and proud of it. Yes, as the man said, geography is surely a gas, a horizon broadener if ever there was one. But those of us who love L.A. for a living, and I'm sure you'll agree, firmly believe that what we call them is best, burgers for short. And our favorite beer, Burgermeister. Yes, indeed, it's a wonderful place and a wonderful time to be alive, to eat burgers and be happy as the live long day. And yet, there are mockers, naysayers, killjoys, those that would claim as if we do not know that burgers are poison, they're cancer, they are pimples, phlegm, cholesterol, not to mention the dread constipation. But yet, you will eat them because they taste like meat. More to the point, would you rather die from one, burgers, or, forbid, bike spokes straight through the neck? And then I go on and on and I list uh, like you know, 20 or 30 burgers from this town that are probably are in, all in the burger stands now defunct. Uh, so why read that? Actually, I did, and I did a burgers, uh, burgers that I've had part two, uh, where uh, I don't have on hand the intro to that one, but the intro to that one, I talked about burger substitutes, like, uh, uh, what was it, a pigeon, pigeon meat or something like that? Uh, this is like I got uh, got this book coming out some sometime at the end of this year, uh, and I, this guy Byron Coley he used to live in this town, he lives in Boston. Now he's putting out this book. So he says, any title you want, any title. Okay, great. So I have a file of great titles, and you know they don't have to blight anything. So I said, how about Tropic of Nipples? So <laughs> that's, a, that's a good title. So I figure, well, I might as well have at least at least one poem in this book have the title. So I could have Tropic of Nipples, Tropic of Nipples 2, right? So I had a couple poems lying around already. And so this is Tropic of Nipples 1 and 2. <laughs> Any god whose name cannot even be damned can go right out and fuck himself. <laughs> it's 
Tropic of Nipples 1. <laughs> and Tropic of Nipples 2. It was like I had this dream that there was an article in a California magazine about puppet, puppet movies, that somehow puppet movies were being made left and right. And this is like I woke up and, and, and this came verbatim out of the dream. It begins like dot, 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 out of, right out of a stream of dream consciousness. And what's trending now is puppet movies, not tapes, especially with the string showing. Trendier still are first-person puppet films, and trendiest of all are Eastman color first-person puppet shorts starring Dodo the Barber Boy. You cannot get trendier right now than Dodo. 